If you are to write an IEEE conference paper, the easiest is to use an IEEE conference paper template for overleaf. So how do you get this? You can get it on the IEEE portal or you can get it on the conference that might be available at a particular time. Or you can also come to the Google search engine and type IEEE conference paper template overleaf. When you click enter, you come here where it says IEEE conference paper template overleaf online LaTeX editor. So this will take you directly to overleaf editor. So you click on open as template. This page that opens, this is the side where you put your files and this is where you write your code and this is where the PDF format is generated for your conference paper template. So here you can adjust this information. You have the title here as conference paper title. So you can adjust this to your preferred title. So you come where it says title and write your title. This is my first research paper. When I recompile, I expect my title here now to change to my first research paper. And then I might not need this footnote. So you can remove this footnote because it may not be very necessary it says note that subtitles are not captured in explore so i can delete it when i recompile my footnote disappears here this is where you write now the author names so you have six on the template you can adjust to the number that you have so it may be one author two three or even more than six so Let's just maybe leave it to three. So first, if you want to edit the name, you come here where it says given name, and then you change here. The name for the first author is PMC Tech from Electrical Department. And this organization is the University of LaTeX and in the city of Lusaka, Zambia. Then here, this is why you write now your email address or your ORCID. This is not a real email address. I'm just writing for the sake of. So PMC Tech. So don't try to email to this address at gmail.com. So here where it says backslash and this now separates the first author's details to the second author's details. So we have the first author's details here adjusted so you can come here on the second author's details and adjust them accordingly then maybe like we said we just need three authors so we're going to remove this so this is the first author second here where it says and i think now this is the third author so we have the three authors now there and you can adjust the information here accordingly then we come to the abstract so here it says begin abstract and end abstract and in between here this is where you write your abstract so let me just copy some information that i might need to use in the abstract so this is my abstract okay you recompile so assuming you have the information maybe written somewhere in your manuscript, like maybe in Word, you want to transfer it to Overleaf, you just copy. There is no need to start adjusting the font. You just copy in whatever format it is, and then you come and paste here. So we've done the abstract. So if the paper that you're writing requires you to put the keywords, you come here where it says begin IEEE keywords and then you write your keywords in here some papers you may not need to put the keywords but here if it requires you to put keywords you put if it doesn't then you can delete this block and then here you start now your section so here you can put now your introduction and then i have my other section here which says easy of use i can call this related works then I can put my information in the related works so I may even have subsections in these related works after recompiling you see that your paper now is taking shape the other thing we can look at is the template for equations so when you come here this is a section for equations and you have to always remember to read this because you might need this information as you are writing your paper this information might be very helpful because it gives you a guidance on how to write some of the things so here there is this equation that has already been written which is 
a plus b is equal to gamma instead of deleting this one let's just write another equation so you have to come here and say begin equation and end equation and then here i'm going to say omega so for omega i'm going to type backslash omega is equal to 2 pi f so for pi i'll say backslash pi then i have the command here space and then f we come here we recompile we have our equation 2 displayed here so now maybe i would want to reference my equation 2 i can put a label so this label i'll call it omega in my text here I would want to reference that so i would say as shown in equation omega so to reference the equation i say backslash i write ref open curly brackets and then i say omega so you recompile so this we labeled it as omega and it's our second equation so it's labeled as equation two so here we have as shown in equation so the other part that we may need to look at is the part for the table so this template has provided with us a table here so I can just come here to go back to this section and come here so that it takes me to the table when you're writing a longer document you can always use this which says go to PDF location in the code if you want this information decide or this if you want to go on the other side so here is the table so it has given us the code for the table and we can adjust this table accordingly these are columns for the table so in total we have four columns so you can add more columns and you can also add more rows so let's add one more row we call it last row and then to go in the next column you use an ampersand or an and sign there is a last row so then one and two and three now you need to to terminate the line you do the double backslash that means you've terminated the line and then here now to create a horizontal line for the row you do backslash and then you say h line when we recompile we have our row created there last row one two and three so you can adjust the table as you would wish we can add more columns you can add more rows the next part that has been included in the IEEE template is in how to include your figures so here this section is for including figures it says begin figure and this allows you to put a figure at a specific point and then this is your figure figure one to put another figure you come here where it says upload then you go to your computer you select the figure that you wish to upload then here you can change your caption and you call it my first figure we delete this one and then our figure is this one abnormal frequency so when you come here you just type a and there it comes you recompile and our figure has changed we can also reference our figure using this label so here i can say my first figure is illustrated in so you say backslash you reference the label it is fig you recompile and you have it here my first figure is as illustrated in figure one we can try to make this our full three paged paper let me just paste what we had copied one other thing that is important in the paper writing is your reference section so these are the references bib item so this is one way in which you can type your references or you can create a database where you can have your references and then you can refer to them in the main text to include the references in your IEEE template you can always refer to the video on references that i did i'm going to leave the link in the description box make sure you watch that i can remove some more information so that our paper is just a three-paged paper we recompile so we've written our conference paper when you're done with all the information that you need to include in here you come here where it says layout so overleaf now has created a new feature where you can view the code separately you can view the editor and the pdf together or you can view the pdf separately so i can come here on separate pdf and i see how my paper is looking so i can come back here and then on layout i 
click on editor and pdf so that i come back here since i'm done with my work i can now download my i triple e conference paper so you click download pdf so there is our paper with the tables and the figures nicely included there for more videos like this remember to like the video subscribe to the channel and bye bye